Hi, my name is Brian. Uh, I am going to show you uh, some of the machines that we make and what you can do with them. And we are going to start with this smaller one. This is uh, the EP130. It's the smallest model that we make. It's very simple. As you can see here, it is very, very simple. Water goes in here. Oxygen, hydrogen, mixed gas comes out here. This is the flame that is produced from separating water into oxygen and hydrogen gas. Our machines produce this gas on demand and we use all of the oxygen and all of the hydrogen from the water. That way it is the most efficient and we get the best results. This flame is very, very hot. In fact, it's about 3,000 degrees centigrade. That's hot. But one of the interesting things about this gas is that when you burn it, the flame has almost no radiant heat. Uh, I don't know if you can see the flame, but my finger is very close, yet there's almost no radiant heat. That means that the heat that you need goes exactly where you want it to. Now when we burn oxygen and hydrogen gas together, we get zero pollution. No carbon, no carbon dioxide, no carbon monoxide, nothing. It's just pollution free. That's one of the really great things about this. In fact, the only byproduct of burning this fuel is water vapor. So it's completely renewable and it's completely pollution free. One of the applications that this works very well with is acrylic processing. Normally when acrylic is cut, you get a very rough edge. Normally when you cut acrylic, you wind up with an edge that looks like this. And you can see it's not very pretty. Usually this edge is sanded and polished, which is very time consuming and very messy. But by using this fuel, all you need to do is this. In just a few seconds, I changed the surface from one that was very rough to one that's very smooth and shiny. So this is very fast, very safe, and very clean. Okay, now I want to show you another very interesting characteristic of oxygen and hydrogen gas, and that is safety. Here we have one of our cooking units, and I just turned on the gas. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, my mother used to tell me, never, ever, ever do what I just did. Why? Because traditional cooking gas is toxic. If you turn it on like I just did and leave it on, you're going to die. The gas itself will kill you. You have another risk. If you leave the gas on like this and there's a spark, there will be an explosion and the explosion will kill you. So either the gas kills you or the explosion kills you. Either way, you're dead. But with oxygen and hydrogen, it's different. And I'll explain to you why. Right now, the air that we are breathing is oxygen and hydrogen gas mixed with about 70% nitrogen. When this gas mixes with the nitrogen, it doesn't burn. 
It is possible to reach concentration levels high enough that you will have a flame. But even if that happens, this gas is safer, and I'll tell you why. Hydrogen gas is very, very light. So the hydrogen gas that's coming out of here will always rise to the top of the room. So if there is a spark and the concentration levels are high enough, the fire will be up there, not down here. Okay, but let's deal with this right now. The gas has been coming out of this burner head for more than a minute. And this torch is lit. But as you can see, we have no explosion. That's because the gas that comes out of this burner is mixing with the nitrogen that's in the air and causing our fuel to become harmless. Even after a minute, I can hold the flame this close and there's still no fire, no explosion. If I want to light this burner, I need to get very close. So even after this gas being on for two minutes, more than two minutes, still no explosion, still very safe. This is different from any other gas fuel you have ever used in your whole life. Okay, this is our EP200. This is a two burner cooking application. Uh, we also have this uh, system available in a single burner and uh, very shortly we will have a three burner and a four burner unit available for sale. For cooking, this gas is more efficient and cleaner than traditional gas fuels. Uh, it's also much safer. As you can see, this gas can be used exactly like any other cooking gas. But there's no smoke, no pollution, and the flame is more efficient. If you look closely, you can cook with a very small flame same as you would for any other type of cooking gas. It's very good for heating. Or, if you want, you can have a very large flame. So it doesn't matter whether you want to cook using a very small flame for reheating, or if you need a very large flame for cooking. This gas works very well. There's the water. These drawers are just for storage if you want to have pots, pans. As you can see here, we have this meter which tells you how much current is being used by our machine to produce the gas. This is important because all of our machines produce the gas on demand.